have our grain, our dairy, our meat, our vegetable, and our fruit. And we are here with, what's your name? Pizza Man. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a man making pizza. Here we have a cheese pizza, plain cheese pizza. We're going to add some barbecue chicken. We're going to add some jalapenos, and we're going to add some pineapple. I'm Fork, Fork Man. All right. We are here with Pizza Man and Fork Man going to make a pizza. Also, there's some extra cheese in the fridge if you want to get that mozzarella. We use the mozzarella because of the uh, the melt point. It has a very high melt point temperature. I also have barbecue sauce if you wanted extra barbecue sauce. But this chicken I got has barbecue sauce all over it. So we don't really probably need any more. In my pizza making days as a professional, I would always just stick my hands in stuff like this. Yep. <laughs> but at this point, I'm just using, I'm using utensils. I've uh, evolved. Back then, I was Homo erectus. Now I'm Homo sapien. He was a baby back then. He knew how to talk. He knew how to walk and everything. He could read when he was first born. Yep. You wouldn't believe some of the things I did. Nobody does. They're unbelievable. Unless you're Except actually there. kids. Unless you're actually there. I was there. Yeah, you could have went back in time and been there. Look at all those barbecue splotches everywhere. Now time for... Barbecue! Pineapple! How about a spoon for this? We'll put the barbecue sauce on the very top. I have a fork for the jalapenos, but I need a spoon for the pineapples. Forkman is going to become Spoon Man. He can shift it like that. Look at those spicy jalapenos. I Although for Spoon Man in there, this this is the one he that had the stem, so I'm going to take this spices. one. Spices. He doesn't know what spice is. He can't taste spice. Tell him not that. Spoon Man. If um. you if you can't taste spice, Cameron, you want to have like six of these jalapenos on a spoon right now? Let's see that. You want to do it? The camera, yeah. ho the camera operator here was saying that you are immune to spice. She is correct. She's correct. So you want to get a spoon and have about six jalapenos? Yeah. Here's just a spoon. Okay. Why a marker? Um, Don't mind that. <laughs> Don't mind the marker at all. No There's no marker here. here. What is that on there? Barbecue chicken. And pineapples and chalapeno. As Alexis pointed out, I mean the camera woman pointed oh, out, no. we got dairy, grain, meat, vegetable, and fruit. So far, they're all on the pizza. This is probably going to taste delicious, but you don't know. I don't know. Might, I don't like it. It might be horrible. I doubt it'll be horrible. Smiley face man. Pizza man. Pizza, camera woman. Fork man! Fork man is back! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is back. Alexis cutting olives because we got the whole olives, which are actually in this Pyrex Tupperware thing. There's a little bit much brine in there. There you go. See, they're whole olives, so... We thought that might not be ideal for pizza. So Alexis is meticulously slicing each one of them. Pizzas, how much do you think we'll need? Well, um, I just put a few spoonfuls of them there. Maybe about a dozen. I don't think so. So it will just be enough for half of the pizza? I think so. Hey, Hannah. Do you want black olives on your half of the pizza? No. Okay. Yeah, just half of the pizza. And you're also going to use some of the chicken barbecue? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go get the pizza and put it on the pan here so you can load it down. There's the pizza number two. You ready to put some olives on it? Yeah. Okay, remember, just put them on half. I am. 
One thing I learned as a pizza maker was to use the very tips of my fingers of both hands and just scoop up as much toppings as I could. Then I would hold them above the pizza and just kind of move my fingers together to spread the toppings out with both hands. Custom. Customization. It's a custom pizza, a custom creation. And we got the extra cheese, mozzarella. Mozzarella. And you're also going to add some barbecue to it? Yep. Ew. You don't like barbecue on pizza? I do. It's just that with, um. He's not. He's with, very. With picky what? With, with what? With olives. That's oh, you don't like nasty. olives. Oh, well, then why'd you say ew barbecue instead of ew olives? I mean, just the thought of it being with olives sounds nasty. You mean you don't put olives on your barbecue sandwich? He doesn't like olives. No, no one friends. does. No, I don't think anyone does either. <laughs> Black olives. Do -do 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 -do. Black olives. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to be guarding the fridge. What did you say? I said Alexis. Do you want Do you... pineapple? Are you just saying that to her because you know she doesn't like pineapple? Hey, Cameron, you want <laughs> some black olives? Okay, this conversation is very nice. I was going to say I'm going to be guarding the fridge all night where the olives are to make sure nobody sneaks up out of bed <laughs> and didn't... eats olives. I wouldn't know you would put them Thank in the Thank God fridge. we don't have strawberries. So, are you ready oh, for you ready for some the barbecue? Meat. Can you scoot that over, please? Yeah. Thank you. Just remember, don't cross that middle line. I won't. First, Hannah, Nana, Boo Boo, really happy will get mine. But she's always supposed to be happy. Barbecue, 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 barbecue. You might want to um, use the fork to separate that into a couple different clumps. Yeah. First, it's going to be cold while you. Are eating it. How do you know you won't be eating it? If it's in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes, it's not going to be cold. Sorry. It just maybe when I cut it, it would just make a big gloppy mess. There we go. Is that everything? That's all you need? Yep. Okie dokie. You want some cheese on top? Of course. I want cheese on top. You want extra cheese? Of course. I like triple cheese. Do you want me to put all the pepperonis on Alexis's side? No. No. Don't let me Documenting our dinner experience. Uh-oh. He's doing, she's doing what you taught her to. Just sprinkle it all around. Well, you gotta pay attention when you're doing that so you don't get it all over the pan because it'll just burn on the pan and go to waste. We don't like waste. There we go. No, I need more cheese. Here. Okay. Let me do my side. <laughs> I was gonna say, sometimes you can just hold the bag and shake the bag. Alexis, will you pick up the other cheese that went off on the side? I need some more right here. In the pan. More, more, more right here. More right there in the pan. We want most of it to be on the pan. So that way it cooks and melts under the pizza so it'll have cheese crust underneath. She's trying to cover all the pepperonis. It's, it's their blanket. Yeah. It's just a blanket. Mm. I thought you might, so I got you this. Minced garlic. Do you need a spoon? La la la, corazón espunado. Espunado, espunado. I love spoons. No. 
Ay, 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 Corazon Espinado means Spain is in my heart. I better turn this off before my battery dies. Pizza time. Finished product. The barbecue pineapple jalapeno pizza. And of course, the black olive barbecue pepperoni pizza with half just pepperoni and extra cheese. The whole pizza sprinkled with minced fresh garlic. Dun, 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 dun,